The, the number one reason that the Kia Hyundai trend is so high is because it, it's a fairly easy crime to commit. Uh, so these Kia vehicles produce somewhere around 2015 to uh, 2021, I believe, that do not have uh, key access. Uh, those vehicles uh, don't have the same type of security operating systems that most traditional newer model vehicles do. And so with the, the Kia Hyundai Challenge, which was reported on the internet about a year ago, it's just been really prevalent for kids to, to uh, see how to commit those crimes. And that's what they do. They just do it for fun. They go out and they, they steal a car. Uh, they joy ride in that car and then they drop that car off and then steal another one. So the numbers continue to increase because um, more kids are learning how to do it. CMPD is doing some things that, that are multifaceted. So on one end, uh, we've worked with our crime analysis folks to really hone into the locations that are, the crimes are occurring most frequently. So we have a list of locations that we know uh, cars have been targeted in the past and we, we really focus on uh, using our patrol resources to specifically target those locations. Uh, some very hardworking and diligent officers were able to make contact with uh, some companies that were providing free clubs and so they've been out in some of the apartment complex areas where they know uh, people have been previously uh, targeted and they've, they've been able to give people clubs um, that have these Kias and Hondas and, and, and just uh, give them a an additional resource to try and make their cars look less attractive for, for thieves. Kia and Hyundai have decided to push out a, a patch uh, for their software. So they are um, in the process of pushing out through their dealerships um, a software upgrade that is going to um, change the way the the locking mechanism works from the Kias and the Hyundais. The software patch works on the anti-theft system, so you actually have to have a physical key in order to start the car. And, and this way, uh, you won't be able to use the system that, that these folks are using right now to, to override the key. But for anybody that wants to get a jump start on that, I just call uh, the, my local Hyundai or Kia dealership to start getting information as quickly as I possibly could. I just want people to understand that we're working uh, really hard to address this issue and we're not doing it alone. Uh, some of this is going to require some, some input from them just following up on some of the safety tips and things of that nature. Uh, but I'm very pleased that Kia and Hyundai have decided to do something about their, their products um, on the policing and we're going to continue to hold folks responsible that are committing these crimes and ultimately between those three different things we'll, we'll be able to see our way through this.